Hello students, the next chapter what you are going to study is mole concept and stoichiometry. Part A is mole concept, part B is stoichiometry. So under mole, mole concept we will study about Avogadro's law. Avogadro is an Italian physicist and mathematician. Avogadro's number is named after him. That is 6.022 written to the power of 23 is called Avogadro's number. And the number of things which is present in a mole. So a mole contains Avogadro number of particles. So what does Avogadro's law states? Under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of all gases contain the same number of molecules. So if we assume that 1 liter of oxygen contains n molecules of the gas, then by Avogadro's law, 1 liter of hydrogen will contain n molecules of hydrogen, 1 liter of nitrogen will contain n molecules of nitrogen or 1 liter of any gas will contain n molecules of that gas. So that is under the same condition of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of all gases contain same number of molecules. Now we will study about relative molecular mass which we have already studied earlier in 9th standard. That is RMM. RMM indicates relative molecular mass. So RMM of an element or compound is the number of times one molecule of the substance is heavier than one twelfth the mass of carbon twelve atom. So molecules and atoms are too small to be weighed individually. Therefore, they are related with the standard atoms like carbon or hydrogen. Here it is the carbon scale which is made use. So RMM is equal to mass of one molecule of the substance by one twelfth the mass of carbon twelve atom. So now let's study about the applications of Avogadro's law. So Avogadro's law is applied to determine various things. We'll be studying only about the determine uh, the relation between molecular weight and vapor density. So Avogadro's law is used to determine the relation between molecular weight and vapor density. The rest of the applications are not included for this year's portion. So we will be studying only relation between molecular weight and vapor density. So first we will see uh, what is vapor density. Vapor density is the density of a gas. So density of a solid or liquid is calculated by density equal, equals mass by volume. Whereas a density of a gas cannot be calculated in the same way. Therefore, vapor density is equal to weight of a certain volume of a gas divided by weight of same volume of hydrogen. Here hydrogen is taken as a standard. Now under the similar condition of temperature and pressure. Now if by applying Avogadro's hypothesis, vapor density is equal to the certain volume and same volume can be replaced by n molecules of the gas by weight of n molecules of hydrogen. This n can be 1. That is, we can write vapor density equals weight of 1 molecule of the gas by weight of 1 molecule of hydrogen. 1 molecule of hydrogen contains 2 atoms of hydrogen because hydrogen is diatomic. So therefore, here it can be substituted as weight of 1 molecule of the gas divided by weight of 2 atoms of hydrogen. Now, multiplying both sides by 2, that will be 2 into vapor density equals weight of one molecule of the gas by weight of two atoms of hydrogen into two. So that two not shown here. The two and the two atoms, two if we cancel, we get one atom of hydrogen. So that's what is written here. Two into vapor density equals weight of one molecule of the gas or vapor by weight of one atom of hydrogen. If you see, take this weight of one molecule or vapor by weight of one atom of hydrogen, you will find that it is equal to RMM. So the whole thing can be replaced by RMM. So 2 into vapor density is equal to RMM or molecular weight. So finally we have derived at the relation between vapor density and molecular weight. So 2 into vapor density is equal to molecular weight or molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density. So this is the formula which you have to remember. The derivation is not there for the exams. It is just for understanding how we derive at the relation between vapor density and relative molecular mass. So remember the formula for all numerical calculations. Now problems based on vapor density and molecular weight. 500 ml of a gas 
x at STP weighs 0 0.50 grams. Calculate the vapor density and molecular weight of gas. Given 1 liter of hydrogen at STP weighs 0 0.09 grams. So, because it is given as 1 liter of hydrogen, therefore we will calculate the gas x also for 1 liter. So, 500 ml of a gas x at STP weighs 0 0.50 grams. Therefore, 1000 ml of the gas x at STP will weigh. Cross multiply this, that is unitary method, 1000 into 0.05 divided by 500, which is equal to 1 gram. Now, let's calculate the vapor density. Vapor density is equal to mass of the given volume of the gas X by mass of 1 liter of hydrogen gas at STP. The mass of the given gas is 1 gram and mass of hydrogen is given in the problem that is 0 0.09. So, 1 divided by 0 0.09 is equal to 11.11. This is vapor density. So, we will not write any unit. It is just a number. Then molecular weight. The formula is equal to 2 into vapor density. So, which will be equal to 2 into 11.11, which is equal to 22.22 grams. One more example. A gas cylinder holds 85 grams of a gas X. The same cylinder when filled with hydrogen holds 8.5 grams of hydrogen under the same condition of temperature and pressure. Calculate the molecular weight of X. So, vapor density is equal to mass of the given volume of gas by mass of 1 liter of hydrogen gas at STP. So, it will be equal to mass of the given gas is 85 and mass of hydrogen is 8.5. This is equal to 10. So, molecular weight is 2 into vapor density which is 2 into 10 equals 20 grams. Third problem, <coughs> calculate the RMM of 290 ml of a gas. A at 17 degrees Celsius and 1520 mm pressure which weighs 2.73 grams at STP. Here again 1 liter of hydrogen at STP weighs 0 0.09 grams. So here we will have to find out volume 2 V2. So P1 V1 this is gas equation P1 V1 by T1 equals P2 V2 by T2 which I have already learned at 9th standard. So, first take the data which is given. P1 equals 1520 mm, V1 equals 290 mm, T1 is given as 17 degrees Celsius which is equal to, has to be converted to Kelvin. So, 17 plus 273 equals 290 Kelvin. P2 equals 760 mm, V2 you have to find out, T2 is 273. This is STP, standard temperature and pressure. Now, applying gas equation, substitute these values given and then find out V. V, V2. V2 equals 4, 546 ml. So now 546 ml of a gas weighs 2.73 grams at STP. So 546 ml that is the volume of gas weighs 273, 2.73 grams at STP. So therefore 1000 ml because we have to calculate with 1 liter of hydrogen. So convert this to 1000 ml. 1000 ml of the gas weighs, this is cross multiplication, 1000 into 2.73 by 546 which is equal to 5 grams. So, vapor density is equal to mass of 1 liter of the gas at STP by mass of 1 liter of hydrogen. So, we have calculated mass of 1 gram of the gas is equal to 5 grams and that of hydrogen is given that is 0 0.09 which is equal to 55.55. You know vapor density? is given no unit is written no unit for vapor density is just a number so molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density which is equal to 2 into 55.55 which is equal to 111.1 gram the next is the state the volume occupied by 40 grams of hydrocarbon methane at STP, that is standard temperature and pressure, if its vapor density is 8. So, vapor density is already given, there is no need to calculate. So, molecular weight is 2 into vapor density, which is equal to 16. So, 16 grams of methane occupies 22.4 liters at STP. Now, what is this 22.4 liter? This is 16 grams of methane means 1 mole of methane. 1 mole of any gas occupies 22.4 liter, which is a which is at standard temperature and pressure. 
So therefore, we take it as 16 grams of methane is 1 mole of methane occupies 22.4 liters at STP. So therefore, 40 grams of methane will occupy how much? Here again, cross multiply 40 into 22.4 divided by 16 equals 56 liters. Remember, 22.4 is the volume occupied by 1 mole of any gas. Calculate the atomicity of a gas, X. Atomic number is given as 35, 35.5. That means it is chlorine. Chlorine is diatomic, Cl2. So, its mass will be 35.5 into 2. So, that will be 71. Whose vapor density is equal to its relative atomic mass. So, here you have to calculate atomicity. The formula for atomicity is gram molecular weight by atomic weight. Now, gram molecular weight is molecular weight expressed in grams. So, the gram molecular weight of X is 71 because it is diatomic gas. And atomic weight is 35.5. So, you get 2. Vapor atomicity is equal to 2. Then the last uh, problem. Calculate the relative molecular mass and vapor density of methyl alcohol CH3OH. If 160 gram of alcohol on vaporization has the volume 112 liters at STP. So, 112 liters of alcohol at STP weighs 160 grams. Now, therefore, 1 mole, that is 22.4 liters of alcohol will weigh how much? That's 160 into 22.4 divided by 112, which is equal to 32. So, molecular weight of CH3OH, that is methyl alcohol, you calculated here is 32. So, here molecular weight of methyl alcohol is 32 grams. Then molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density. Molecular weight is 32 here. 2, you have to find out vapor density. So, vapor density is equal to 32 divided by 2, which is equal to 16. A of and then RMM and then uh, the formula vapor density uh, is equal to molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density. Applying that, you will have to calculate the problems based on that has to be calculated. With this, we complete part A. Thank you, students.